Hey guys, this is Mike here. Um, actually, I don't want to make this a very long video. Um, currently, what happened is this is running on Android Q Beta 6. So, in somehow or rather, if it's there are still things that's not working for you and you want to switch the essential phone back to a stock, you can always just flash the uh, stock package back, uh, Android Pie package back to the phone itself. So, um, this I will basically show you the way of doing a completely a complete wipe of your phone and then revert it back to stock. There is a um, link for you to download the um, package for going back to stock where you can try it out. Um, I'll leave a link for you and um, let's just get on with the process. And the assumption basis is everything is still the same. You still need to go to your about phone and tap on the build number for seven times to enable developer options. So once you are in developer options, so what you need to do is just to go to your developer options and enable unlocking, which is already done, and also enable USB debugging. So once you have that done, you can just plug in your cable, and you should see this message, just always allow and allow. Then you are more or less done in, in that sense, where you can actually now uh, go to the PC for the rest of the setup process okay so what you need to do now is to enable minimal ADB and fast boot so you can see here I uh, have the and make sure you have the 112 release installed that is the latest one that you need to have so um, first of all you need to do a ADB devices to ensure device is connected you see device is connected then you do ADB reboot boot loader since you are running on Android Q uh, you can only do a fast boot method to go back to stock uh, Android Pie version. So ultimately, then we wait for them to put into fast boot mode. So what we will do next is to navigate to the folder that we have, which is F, CD, uh, Essential. Then this is what you have. Then you'll do a CD, <coughs> PH1, dash, images, then we are looking for 112 version, right? So when you are here, you can do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. So once the device is connected, what you need to do is to do a fast boot. Uh, as you can see now, um, there is a flash all dot that. So what you need to do is just do a flash all dot. Okay, but before we do that, you need to make sure that you have a um, device bootloader already unlocked but um, my assumption if you're under Android Q beta your bootloader should already be unlocked or if not then you can do a fast boot fast boot flashing unlock this will unlock your phone and clear off everything inside in fact do a factory reset to your phone so once you're done with that just go back to a normal process to get back into the fast boot mode then you can continue on with this process so what you do now is do a flash all dot back that should flash your essential phone back to the uh, <clears throat> android pi version so just let the wait for the process to complete Okay, it seems like the um, slash has finished, so we'll move to the phone for the rest of the setup. Okay, the phone is booted up now, so you just need to wait for the phone to finish booting. Okay, basically if you see this message, uh, what you need to do is to actually do a factory data reset, because the data is different. So you just do a factory data reset and do a yes. Once it's formatted the data, then what you need to do is just to uh, reboot back the machine. Then it should get rebooted properly after that. So you can get rebooted. Then you just wait for the reboot to complete. Okay, it seems like the 
Android Pi version is back, so you can just then copy and skip it. Continue. Then next, skip, uh, skip, skip. Uh, yep, next. Uh, diagnostic, no, just accept it and no thanks. So you are booted up now into the Android Pi version. So you can take a look at the. Uh, about phone so as you can see now it's Android 9 so we are back to the stock image itself so um, yeah that's all that's how you actually get your essential back to the stock factory settings and stuff so if you have any questions do post a note uh, down below and see whether I can help you with that um, yeah that's all I have for today guys if you like the channel or like the video I'm doing please subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell for future updates that's all for today. I'll see you again soon. Bye.